I'm meteorologist Carly Gomez tracking a bomb cyclone, an atmospheric river, as well as a second low pressure system just all into the mix. It could create for many the perfect storm when it comes to that heavy rain turned Sierra snow and early start to a lot of the ski resorts opening early. Now what we're looking at here is that bomb cyclone that has pushed into the Pacific Northwest. As of Wednesday, we saw heavy rain downpours into Washington and some serious situations up there as well in terms of power outages down trees and unfortunately some deadly events there as well. Now an atmospheric river has begun being pulled into that bomb cyclone and behind it is a low pressure system. And what we could expect with that is what's called the Fujiwara effect. Now the low pressure right here is going to start moving its way to the north. Meanwhile, this low would move right underneath it, kind of doing a dance and they'll continue in that pattern, kind of circulating around each other for at least the next 24 to 36 hours. And while that's happening, the second low here is expected to also begin tapping into the rest of that atmospheric river, continuing to pull in that moisture over northern California and the Pacific Northwest throughout the weekend. Now, what we're going to also see with this is, of course, that heavy rain continuing. Now, as of Wednesday, we've only seen about maybe getting closer to about a quarter of an inch of rain for the Sacramento area within just Wednesday. North, though, just take a look, almost an inch of rain in Marysville to about one and three quarters inches in Oroville. And as you look at the coastline there, the biggest portion of that atmospheric river taking hold here is near Santa Rosa, where they got over five and a half inches of rainfall as of about 930 PM Wednesday, close to three inches in areas near Ukiah. And you can see in those red zones also just north there and east of Ukiah, that area also seeing close to about five, five and a half, six inches. So a lot of rain in a short amount of time creating flash flood watches, warnings and advisories for those zones. Now we're going to continue to see a lot more of this rain on the way into Thursday, taking a quick break and then really revamping up again as we start moving into Friday and Saturday and continuing into the start here of Thanksgiving. Now we do have a winter storm warning only in effect at least now until 4 a.m. on Thursday. This has been extended from 10 p.m. Wednesday due to the fact that we continue to see more of that rain turning snowfall for some of the higher elevations, though, right around 5,500 feet and higher is where we're seeing some of the zones here getting and at least sticking snow on the roadways. And we're also seeing a winter weather uh, watch and advisory in effect for the higher Sierra spots. Meanwhile, also taking a look here at wind advisories and flood watches warnings also in effect. So the wind advisory until 10 p.m. for some of the strong gusts. We do expect this to also be reissued as we move toward the weekend for another cold front to arrive and bring us some more chances of those strong wind gusts. And we're also again tracking some flooding potential out there with a flood watch in effect until 4 a.m. Most of this is going to be north of Yuba City as well as west areas around Clear Lake, Ukiah, Santa Rosa. We're seeing some of the biggest hardest hit areas of that atmospheric river moving in. Meanwhile, a little further inland and south, we're seeing a big cutoff line pretty much from US 50 north. Stockton expected to still get some scattered showers as well. As we move toward the weekend, it'll be on and off. So the most we could see in these areas really for the San Joaquin Valley is maybe up to about an inch of rain. So again, most of the targeted area for the atmospheric river here, and you just see how much plumes of moisture that is. It really extends all the way toward uh, really just north of Hawaii with another one, a small break between them, but this one's just right behind it. And we're going to expect to see another low beginning to tap into that plume as we start moving toward next week. So yeah, we have a lot to go on the way and this could continue at least for the next about seven to 10 days out. So we're really watching this pattern and a series of storm systems continuing for at least the next week and a half. Now what we're going to see here again with the Fujiwara effect, I kind of want to demonstrate that for you. The low here begins to move to the north. The second low that was behind it moves right under it. This one taps into the atmospheric river we were talking about and then continues to drive and fuel most of that movement here with the low circulates counterclockwise, pulling and dragging that atmospheric river up from the south to the north and then circulating around back and targeting Northern California once again. So we're going to continue to see that at least for the next couple of days before we'll take a small break between them 
and we'll continue to see more of that rain on the way to start next week. All right, we're going to see a lot of showers and scattered showers throughout Wednesday night through all of them and most of Thursday morning. And again, again, most of it targets from Elk Grove North. As we start to get to the lunchtime hour on Thursday, this is where we start to see that break. Everything south into the San Joaquin Valley starts to see more or less a break in the clouds, a few scattered showers, kind of just mostly lingering, but otherwise everything north from Yuba City all the way to Redding continues to get a lot of that atmospheric river and that targeted area of rain moisture. Again, as we start moving on throughout the overnight hours, we're pretty much good until we start getting to Friday early morning, starting to kick up around maybe 6 a.m. And then in full force during that morning commute, we're going to look at massive downpours pushing through a very heavy at times in that red and orange zone, as you notice there, and surrounding areas in yellow. So we're expecting big downpours during that commute. Please drive safe Friday morning. Friday morning, as anticipated on 80 US 50 I-5, 99 all these surrounding areas are going to be hit very hard that is going to start to move its way out of our area toward the southeast on friday afternoon we're going to start to see areas like sonora murphy's arnold angels camp getting hit hard by friday afternoon and then we're still seeing some lingering snow but not as much temperatures are still kind of up there in the daytime hours now finally into friday afternoon we start getting more or less scattered showers in and out they start to get a little better but unfortunately for areas like Friday night football, wherever people are having games, sectionals, regionals or finals, we're going to see a lot of areas with heavy rain through Friday night. So please make sure you are dressing warm and making sure you stay dry on Friday night. If you have any activities to do, you're going to be seeing a lot of areas hit pretty hard. Even the San Joaquin Valley and those foothill spots Friday night expecting to see a lot of rain and downpours and then the snow kind of starts drifting and shifting closer toward Yosemite as well. Meanwhile, areas around uh, really Truckee and South Lake Tahoe, we're going to get a little bit, but not quite as bad. And then finally, we get some small breaks in and out throughout your Saturday. Things start clearing up by Saturday afternoon. Sunday's also looking pretty good. And then we re bring in that rain once again from Sunday night to Monday. So we are getting very small breaks between everything. But again, it's going to start when it comes in, it's going to get heavy. And then by the afternoon, as things start slowing down, we should see more or less just a few scattered showers. Now, rain total wise, as we start moving to Thursday, we could get about another inch of rain. But after this is all said and done throughout at least, at least through Saturday night, we could see as much as about one inch in areas of the San Joaquin Valley to as much as two and a half inches in Sacramento to three and a half inches in Yuba City. A lot of rain over the next three, three and a half days. So get ready. Make sure you're clearing out leaves, any debris in your roadways, anything that could actually block the sewage area that could in the drainage area on your street. Make sure that is cleared out. You don't want any of that backing up into your property as well. And then along the coastlines, you're looking at as much as seven and a half inches of rain near Ukiah on Saturday. So not just one day total. I'm talking all three and a half days still leading up to Saturday. All right, snowfall total wise, we're looking at as much as two to four feet of snow possible. So a lot more on the way as well. I'm sure a lot of skiers, snowboarders are getting excited about this. You're going to want to wait till most of this is done because getting up these mountains, it's going to be very tricky, especially as we're seeing intermittent closures of the roadways just because of how heavy it's gotten in some small periods of time. So you might be staying there waiting for it to reopen or you may have just gotten through it. So you're definitely going to want to make sure you're checking your map, CHP, whatever's going on there to make sure roads are open if you had plans to head up. The European model showing a little bit less snow than that, 33 inches instead of about 44 for Donner. So we'll have to wait and see exactly how much rain or snow we get with this. But I am seeing more or less the European side now, at least this model showing a little bit better totals just because on our previous uh, computer models and that run on the future cast, you can see on that one, we didn't get quite as much snow as we were thinking. Some of those days had most of the snow shifting further toward Yosemite. So we may be closer to maybe just three feet of snow at this point in time. So again, we'll wait and see when this is all done exactly what we get. Our future cast rate, our winds, I should say, the wind gusts have been picking up about 15 to 25 miles per hour from Sacramento toward the San Joaquin Valley. But north, we've been getting 25 to 35 mile per hour wind gusts pushing through. So we'll continue to see some of these wind gusts, especially as the cold fronts move through Friday, 8 p.m., strong gusts start coming in. This time, we're looking in out of the east. 
these winds coming in out of the southeast as we start to see that low pressure system start to circulate and start to bring back some rain bands the other way around. So we're waiting to see exactly when this is going to stop. And there it is, Saturday, 2 p.m. Over the Sierra Crest, more strong wind gusts push that way. Meanwhile, the valley begins to slow down. All right, let's look at the long range forecast. What does Thanksgiving have in store? Well, as we move towards Sunday, yeah, we're looking at more rain coming into our morning hours and more Sierra snowfall. Then we start to see that pushing more to the east. So the lighter shades here look just to let you know it's more or less just a cloud coverage with maybe a little bit of moisture, a few sprinkles, the darker the shade of green more likely to see that rain. So at this point, looking into Monday night, it looks like most of the rain stays up towards some of the lower foothills and foothill spots. Meanwhile, it looks like we may still get some more snow showers Monday night into Tuesday morning. Then after that, Wednesday to Thursday is looking a little better. We may have a slight chance for shower, but at this point in time, it's looking a little better. So we'll wait and see, but right now, it's looking a little bit better getting closer toward Thanksgiving. All right, temperature wise, Temps will be right around the mid 60s. More cloud cover just gives us that little bit more of warmth. So overnight lows are not freezing anymore. We're now looking at mid 40s and low 50s for the overnight low 68 for the high in I own Bay Area looking at temperatures in the mid to low 60s for the daytime high and pretty similar to us. We'll be looking at the mid 60s to upper 50s along a lot of the area valley spots. But notice the further north you get a little bit chillier daytime highs a little uh, further south you get you're seeing upper 60s even a low 70 there near Manteca. Over the next few days, we do have weather impact alerts for you. So alerting you that we're dealing with severe weather and strong storm systems pushing through for at least the next five days. So we have this at least through Monday, but we could still see some of those showers on Tuesday. So keep that in mind. The showers continue and then we'll see maybe a slight chance for some showers also on Thanksgiving.